Well, I I feel kind of stupid because I made that video about that road I couldn't go on on the motorcycle, and I thought all the geocaches were on this road. Well, I got out Google Maps and I, I I got the satellite view, and I discovered that there is a little road, I mean little, it's Rinky Dink Road, that comes down this way, and there are geocaches, not on the big road. So I'm out on the bike. Um, I'm using my old helmet because, well, it, it's not winter yet. It's not cold enough for a visor. The Garmin. My directions to get here. From here, I can just use the Garmin to get to the rest of the places. Well, there's a micro geocache on this monument. The road has uh, turned into a, a mud dirt path and it's a little uh, horse riding farm. I think you can see somebody riding a horse even now. Well, this uh, this cache has a closed circuit TV monitor, but fortunately the cache is under the monitor. So Nobody saw me. Korea is in general a noisy place. There's always sound. I mean here, even here. You can hear the background. Background radiation of traffic. But for Korea, this is pretty peaceful. All right, let's find this cache. I just wanted to show you on this. Uh, this is a series I'm doing. It's, uh, I forgot the name of it now, Seoul something. Anyway, um, let me show you the caches that I'm looking for. Uh, so here's, here's an example of one of the caches. And uh, they are all kinds of places. Sometimes, Sometimes they're stuck in the bark of a tree. Sometimes they're, they're stuck on uh, uh, power poles. They're not easy to find. I think by the time I leave Korea, I won't be an expert with micros, but <laughs> I will be very familiar with them. Well, Garmin has uh, petered out on me as far as route calculation. It's been calculating my route, but I must have reached a point where, um, according to Garmin, there's no road. So I'm kind of on my own now. I did see this. You see these a lot in Korea. Let's see if we can get a close up, show you what it is. It is cell phone relay, uh, data relay or something, but the it's all camouflage to look pretty so it doesn't clash with the woods too bad. What I've been noticing is uh, some of these caches are not the proper distance apart. Um, like the one up there, there was, o it was only like 112 meters between them. Uh, the next one was like 136 meters. This one's okay. But the caches are supposed to be 160 meters apart. Well, 161 meters apart. And the reason they arrive at that is because the standard for measuring is the American imperial system from the Middle Ages. So, uh, I think it's one-tenth of a mile. Fractions are such a pain in the ass. You would have thought my countrymen would have rebelled against their use years ago. But no, they love them. They love fractions. Anyway, um, this one's 250 meters from the last one, so this one's okay. I don't know how they can get past the review being 136 and 112 meters apart. All right, let's get this one. It's around here someplace. Well, this one uh, has proven to be beyond me. 
is somewhere on these stairs. And um, I put on my gloves and put my hand. I can't think of any place I did not put my hand, but apparently there is some place I did not touch. Or it's possible I touched the cache and just didn't recognize the feel of it. I don't know. I touched a lot of things under there. It's disgusting. Um, but nothing with a cache in it. I mean, with a cache container. It's magnetic, according to the hint. So, I don't know. This is a DNF for me. But I did get a, while I was looking, uh, one of these plants was growing under the stairs. Got me a free green pepper. I'm gonna eat him. I couldn't help myself. I had to come back. I had to come back and take a look uh, for this cache again. I wanted to, I wanted to complete the series. The GZ is down here at the bottom of the steps, so that's where I concentrated the most. But I went all the way up the steps. I ran up to the top of this. Uh, these steps here to take a piss and there was nobody up there and when I was done I realized that my view of this highway up there was such that it I thought nobody could see me but people could see me from like my belly down so passing motorists got to see me take a piss lucky them Maybe that's why the cops came down just now. I don't know. All right, well, there it is. Second, second try, still didn't find it. Okay, well, um, I, I got back home from geocaching and uh, I discovered that that wasn't, I, I, uh, I started in the middle of that series. I thought I'd started at the end of that series. I started at the middle. So I, um, when I came back, I should have turned right and gone on and found the remaining nine. I found nine. There were nine I didn't even know existed in the series, and then one I didn't find. Oh, God, I'm being inundated. <laughs> they, uh, when I came back, they were in the bedroom and I heard them crying I thought, oh yeah why didn't they come meet me at the door they always meet me at the door and <laughs> apparently the wind had forced the door shut I had taken the little uh, stoppers off for some reason and I forgot to put them back on 